Alright, this is my uh, 2006 Honda Odyssey and I think I'm having an issue with the uh, condenser fan and I, I don't know if it's loose or what, so I went ahead and ordered the motor and the fan and I'm going to pull it out. But it, it definitely it gets to a point where it starts making a really, really bad noise. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, you know replacing the motor and, and the fan uh, will cure that. Um, and, and it may be something simple as the nut has come loose. Some, I don't know. It could be the shaft inside the motor. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to take it out uh, from, from up here. Alright, be, be back in a little bit. Uh, the noise hasn't started, but you can see how it's shaking a lot, I think. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I hope it's coming through on the, on the video. But it, it's definitely moving a lot. Um, so you see, now, now it's quiet. The sound has gone off. not vibrating as much. I think it's just the speed when it goes into high speed. So, all right. Okay, so to get to the condenser fan on these, this is a Honda 2006 Odyssey um, XLE, XLE rear entertainment system, whatever, has a DVD or whatever. Anyway, um, to get to the fan and to get it out from in here, we got to remove all this and uh, I think we may have to remove this. I'm not sure I'll, uh, this front uh, thing. We, we may not have to, because uh, basically we just, we need, to we need to move the radiator forward and of course loosen the, um, the uh, assembly where the fan is and then pull it out. And we will have to remove this guy if I'm not mistaken, I think. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna show that. I did another video on replacing the condenser for a friend of mine on a van exact like this, and I forgot to videotape that part. So, anyway, uh, I'll, 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 I'll uh, record that uh, as soon as I, uh, I get to that point. Okay, so I'm gonna use these to pull these out. Oh, that one's loose. Uh, so anyway, so you kind of pull these out this way. Some of them I might need to re replace. I've already taken this apart. Some of them, like this one, I'm probably going to need to replace it because it's done want to come out. Uh, I do have some extra ones laying around. Um, And some of these, I think these in the front are a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure if y'all can see that. They're a little bit longer, these here in the front, than these over here in the side. So you have to be mindful of that um, as you're pulling the stuff out. See, that's that was in the wrong place. Uh, I, I think this was taken out because I took it in to have it, have the transmission. There was a an issue I had where the the uh, there was a there's an oil seal between the transmission and the motor and that was leaking and it was causing a bunch of oil <clears throat> and they had to take the car completely apart yeah. anyway all right I'll be back in a second okay I will have to remove this uh, it does have a plug in the back because you got to remove the bottle and so what what I'm gonna do uh, it's the overfill uh, I got to, right, let, let me, it's the overfill for the radiator. Uh, I do have to remove this guy right here and this guy right here. And unfortunately, darn, I am going to have to remove this. Um, because I do have to remove the, well, I'll try without. Um, th there's a condenser and there's a bracket down here that hold that's holding the condenser and I am going to need some room 
So when I pull this forward to pull the fan through here, so I'll try it without removing the bracket, uh, but definitely these two brackets have to go. This has to go. Um, I have to wait till the car cools down here because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's under pressure. So I'm going to have to wait a while. Um, anyway, so that's where I'm headed. Okay, so I just removed, let me flip this over so I can see what I'm doing. I just removed one bracket, and usually what I like to do is just put the screws back in here so that I know, you know, I know that screw goes there and I'm just putting it. I do have one of these to hold some screws and bolts or whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, by the way, this is a number, a number 10. Uh, it's a number 10 socket that fits on these bolts, so. Do that number. Take that out. I'll just put that back. Um, here. And, and, and these are the same on each side. Doesn't matter where they go. There's no right or wrong. Or wrong. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to remove this, which means I'm going to have to remove this thing because I can't get into the brackets for the condenser. So. Now, when, you, when you're removing this guy, there are some um, some of these clips. There's three of them that are way down in here. And um, <laughs> they're tough to get out, okay? Um, I do have the these guys here. Uh, and then I have one that's more angled. This one right here, I know you guys can see that. It's a little bit more angled. Um, worst case scenario, if you don't have these tools, you can take these small screwdrivers like these and kind of pinch them, take them out. I want to say that that's what I had to do down here on one of them because um, I couldn't fit these in things in. Now you got to be real careful because there is a condenser here and you don't want to mess the condenser up while you're taking this out. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I managed to get one one out, which is the center one, with these. The ones over here to the side because the car, this, this kind of like curves, it's a lot closer to the condenser. So I think I may have to go in there with some small little screwdrivers and kind of pull it out. Uh, and these are some small, small ones. They're not as long. All right, be back. All right, so what I did is I used these two to pop them up. I kind of had to move them because obviously they do have an indention on each side and they were like this. And so there's no way I could get the screwdriver in from the front. So I had to like move them and then, you know, I can get this, the screwdrivers in there to pull it out. One of them fell down inside. I'll, I'll have to find it. Um, Okay, so now this thing should just comes right off. <clears throat> uh, and this is what happens once you've taken out, taken them off too many times, they break. Uh, you can find these on, I think it's called clips, fasteners and clips or something like that. I'll, I'll try and put it on the on the on the link when I put the video up. Uh, or you can buy them. Um, at Amazon, I can't remember. Uh, th th there are different part numbers because the longer ones have a different part number. Some of them even, ha even have steel inside. I mean, they're they're like they really lock really well. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, so now that I got this, I can I can remove this bracket here, and and hopefully this is going to free this up just a little bit so I can pull it forward. I hope, and that way I can pull this forward to get that fan and stuff out of there, right out of here, okay? And I'll definitely videotape that while I'm doing that. All right, bye.